you have at least three options for your standing lateral raise on the revolution. For all these options, I'm going to recommend that the adjustable arms be all the way down in position number nine. Your first one, we're going to face away from the machine, not resting on the machine, but controlling your body position in space, controlling your spine. The straps are adjusted to their longest setting with the D-ring. And then you're simply going to move your arms straight out to the side, maybe a slight bit forward as they come out. Kind of depends on how you're standing relative to the pulleys. The further forward you stand, the more forward you'll need to move to stay aligned. So the key here is not throwing your arms up, not externally rotating, but almost thinking about lifting the elbow even more than you are thinking about lifting the handle or the hand itself. That's perfect, Josh. So you're working middle deltoids, supraspinatus, some of the rest of the deltoid, anterior and posterior, scapular muscles. Now here's another variation. Go ahead and turn around and face me. And facing the machine is going to give you two options. One, where you still have the left handle in the left hand, right handle in the right hand, and moving straight out to the side. This is going to allow you to move in a slightly forward and backwards angle. As you can see from the side, his hands at the end or starting position are going to be lined up. His arms are lined up with the rope and the pulley. They're not back here. They're in line. So as he comes back, the rope shows him the path of motion. So that's perfect. Now another option is to cross the handles. Now this is pretty neat because before from the beginning he really didn't have any resistance when the rope was right in line with his arm, but here he still got the rope in line with his arm from this direction, but from where I'm standing the ropes are crossed so it's pulling on him, giving him tension even at the beginning. It's a little bit tougher, huh? A little bit. So same path of motion, just crossing the cables or crossing the ropes gives him a little starting resistance that he didn't have before.